first start creating music? Like, at what point did you say, all right, I'm going to start doing this? Um, I, I just, I've been writing my whole life, kind of just, nothing even serious. i just been writing, not even necessarily trying to, like, get to anything exactly, but probably, like, a year out of high school, I think I started writing music more, and a lot of people around me were making music, and it felt like they're just making music to make music, which is like fine. But if I was gonna say sh- say some shit, like it was gonna have some shit with meaning. And mm-hmm. if I was gonna make music, I want to like be contributing something and not just like adding to the noise. So it just got to the point where I think I was just overwhelmed with emotion, and I was like, I need to like start talking, and I know. I knew that I like wanted to fucking make music and I just got in a situation where like my homie could record me. I like I grew up poor as fuck, I didn't have any way to fucking make music and then everything just kinda like aligned and then like I just dropped my the first song, um and then it just like blew up like nothing crazy but it like blew up and then I just been like going ever since. <laughs> this isn't even a question I have on here, but uh I remember our first interview we did. Um, yeah. I, was, I, re- I reread it this week just yeah. to like go yeah. back. And uh, I remember when I asked you at that point, you were like, yeah, I just started making music about six months ago. But you were like, I don't even consider myself an artist yet because yeah. I feel like you have to earn that. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do you feel like you've earned that now? No, I feel like I earned a spot in the conversation. Mm-hmm. But like now I got to like elaborate on that and like prove to myself that I deserve to be in this situation because I feel like with the internet and shit like it's not that not taking away from anyone because like I'm just literally trying to speak in general it is possible to like fucking do this music shit with the internet like shit is more accessible and I'm trying to like make sure that I'm in this bitch for a reason and that it's not just because like the internet and our generation and how fast shit goes and like how excited people get quick. Like I'm trying to like really like solidify and like be more than um, what culture is now. Like the positive and the negative, like just in general. Like really, I want to be an artist, like in the most genuine sense. Like fuck. I'm so bad at talking. No, that was a good answer. Lucky, that wasn't even a question I had. That was, that was still a good answer. I was just reading it though. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Um, at what point did you realize that your music was gaining traction? I think when you posted me. You were the first person to post me. And then it was Lyrical Lemonade. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. Because obviously it's Lyrical Lemonade. And then also, like, people started taking me serious because of that, too. And I was, like, just kind of um, solidified shit a bit. And I was, like, I don't know. I was kind of, like, okay. Like, let me see. I just wanted to keep going. Not, like, because of that, but I wasn't a force. I wasn't, like, dropped because I had dropped music, like, out of nowhere and shit. And that was, like, another big thing because we were, like, what the fuck? And then other people were, like, waiting for me to drop music. But it showed that I wasn't, like, forcing it, dropping a song, like, and just making music just to, like, make shit like other people do, I guess. So, like, when I think your music, there is what I kind of see as, like, indie music influence, kind of alternative influence, hints of hip-hop in ways. Um, It's tough to, like, pinpoint exactly what it is. How would you describe it? Like, how would you describe what your sound is? Yo, I feel like I haven't even tapped into, like, the sound and, like, the color of my soul. It's, it kind of drives me crazy because I have a whole world inside of my head. And then I have to live in this one. And it's fucking defeating. And, dude, my head is just filled with fucking scribbles. And I don't... I. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it goes deeper than like the sound of my music and how I would describe it and more as of like 
the sound of my soul no corny shit <laughs> and like what that stands for and who I stand for which is fucking all over the place like that's how my music sounds also it's like all over the place and like I get annoyed because I, I'm sure that comes off as me not knowing who I am as an artist but like if you know me in person then it makes way more sense because like I'm just constantly up here all the time and like <sighs> That's all I'm trying. I'm trying to fucking like get this shit out and like, and that's fuck. It's fucking hard because the shit is complicated. It's not complicated. It's complex. That's what. That's what the fuck it is. And I still feel like I'm not getting my point across even in this interview. Fuck. I don't know. I'm sorry. That was a good answer. Shit. Right. Honestly, just as a listener, like I kind of hear you. Like I'm not yeah. like, personally like that, but like yeah, I yeah. get it. You know. Yeah. All right. I've been wondering this for a while. I should have asked this last time. What's the significance between the two forward slashes that you put at the, oh, at the end of every song? Um, how can I explain this? I've just been doing that since I was a kid for some reason. Just in all of my journals and my diary and shit, I just had like those slashes. I think it had became uh, exclamation mark for myself, kind of like just adding me to something I say and then I had this whole collective of people slash gang what, what the fuck ever and um, I like called it soon I even still feel like corny like saying but I'm just like talking from my heart now but um, I deal with like mental illness and I mean whenever I kind of when I was whenever I like get like dark or like gray or whatever people would always be like oh things will get better soon or fucking just keep trying to like go forward or some shit like that and I think it just became an imprint in like what I stand for which is like soon and then the two slashes and the two slashes are going forward and it's like a meaning of like to keep going and even when you do get to a place to like never get comfortable and like to just keep like getting up like that just sounds so corny but like for real like if you put yourself in the situation of like wanting to like not live anymore and wherever and not gonna go deeper into it and like really like picking yourself the fuck up and finding that light in yourself and like making something out of that shit without anyone else around you giving you help but like really finding it in yourself to fucking like dominate your own mind and get revenge on like your subconscious like like the gray part of it and it's just yeah it's just always been like soon and like even just like struggling just growing up like I was just always looking around like my friends and shit like I've always been a dreamer and shit and so it's just like soon like soon we're gonna get that shit and then like you get somewhere and then it's just like damn but I don't want that I want more and then it's just like soon it's just like it's a thing so like that's how that came and then also people just trying like fucking make me feel weird as fuck for always using slashes people in school and shit would always ask me what the fuck that meant or like what the fuck I would even be talking about just through my art and shit and it's kind of just like making it like a staple and like uh, making it exist I guess so the reason I dropped the EP uh how did you come up with the title for the project? Um, that was a poem that I wrote. I wrote that poem in like, that was like high school. Cause I, sometimes I get like really fucking, I just get depressed. Like most of the time I, I do feel numb. I, it's hard for me to feel anything, but I'll, I'll reflect. I feel like I get in these, these zones where like my mind just starts going I'm like able to write I'm able to fucking like make something out of the shit and I'll go back and look at all the shit that I used to write from like years ago because it'll like re-inspire me and shit or like prove to myself that there is still like something left in me when I feel like there isn't and that was something that I would always come back to and it was the last thing I said I was like and how will I rest in peace if I'm buried by 
a highway. I'd just be in the car with my friends and I'd just be like playing music loud as fuck. I've always had like a weird thing with like death and whatever that like that goes deeper, but you drive past these graveyards and they're supposed to be at peace and shit. And, and I feel weird for playing music loud as fuck because like I'm still living my life and it's just weird ass like paradox and I'm just like how how can your soul be at peace when like the world is fucked up like you you hear of like ghosts still being like alive and shit because they didn't live out um what they wanted to like when they were on earth and shit and it's just that's just how like I be feeling like just I don't know how the fuck to be at peace like in a world like this and like even when I die just like I still worry about all of the others and being forgotten also like in just dealing with that like how the fuck do you rest in peace when there is no peace I don't I don't know I think that's that's the thing because there's such an open conversation of it and there's so much ways to go into it and I think maybe that's what the fuck I was trying to get at is that it is opening a conversation and that's what I think a project should be is like fucking opening a dialogue and shit right. so the, the music video for the title track mm-hmm. uh, very artistic well put together it's, and right. received very well like that yeah. shit's about to hit a million plays yeah. um like, what kind of artistic direction did you, like, have when it came to the ideas and, like, did, kind of directing and creating that, that piece of art? I'm trying to remember. I definitely just wanted it to be universal. I always want all of my art to be universal. And in that sense, to be able to speak to anyone, um, any kind of person. And I think the main thing, um, it was loud, yeah. The, the song was loud and I wanted there to be a lot of life in it and it was a party and just like I think kind of trying to tap into the world in my head and shit um, cause I feel like this is one of the songs first songs that I genuinely feel like I really actually like tried on like no corny shit and I wanted there I wanted there to be like a lot of life and a lot of people living and shit that was what it was it was like a whole bunch of people living around me and me like in a panic because fucking that's literally it's like even in this fucking interview right now there's people fucking like protesting right like people dying like in this moment and shit and it's so fucking weird to be like sitting in silence when sorry i'm going i'm drifting sorry um i think it's just a lot of like life death and love like at the end of the day and then I just wanted it to be like film I just fucking love film shit um the video still wasn't even like exactly all that I wanted it to be my personal favorite song on the EP is Plastic Door mm-hmm. can you speak on the creation process of that song yeah that was um the fastest song I've ever wrote I was with Daywave we were in LA I used to like li- I used to listen to Daywave like before he was popping that song so fucking lame but on some genuine shit and I've just been like following him forever so what I mean in that sense is like where I've been listening to him before he's famous I'm saying that I've like grown with him like as he's grown as an artist I've just been a fan and shit cause I feel like sonically he like he understands so I had like a session with him it, just with anybody I've just been having like sessions and shit I get super like anxious and I get anxiety I'm just like damn I gotta fucking like prove myself or whatever like that but with this one I tried to exercise my writing and like my actual skill and like to to prove it to myself because normally I take a while but only because I'm trying to make sure I'm I mean what I say into like if it's gonna be in the fucking world um so he just, yeah he just fucking started playing guitar and we just started it just was happening so quick and that was the song that proved to myself that another time that I do have it in me to like be an artist and to like have a hard work ethic no matter like what your mental shit is on um it was about it's about this kid and he fucking is getting bullied at school outcast and shit and he shoots somebody at school 
and then he basically he dips to the woods and then this old man like lets him in but it was only because he he's like kind of cranky and shit but it's only because he's lonely because he's like fucking asshole and his like wife left him and shit so then through that they like learn they start like learning from each other as they're talking and shit and towards the end of the song they realize that that if they don't change they'll end up like each other and like the old man was kind of like the kid that was fucking bullying the kid that came into his house and the and the kid was becoming stubborn like the old man and if they don't change they're gonna like end up like each other or something like that. <laughs> so like like I said earlier I first got familiar with you when Kate came out yeah that was four <laughs> years ago now um uh, so like the past four five years have seemingly just from the outside looking in been like a grind for you uh how does it feel now that like tons of people are like not only discovering your music but like really really loving it i am so fucking grateful because i'm not trying to sound corny i'm just like be real i am a very lonely person i i know i have people around me that care about me but i think that also adds to the conflict of still like feeling conflicted in your heart and like feeling alone um so i think it's beautiful when people are able to connect with me spiritually um i think it validates the way i feel and it makes me not feel so crazy but also validates me feeling crazy at the same time and i just remember when nobody gave a fuck and i'm just i'm just so fucking grateful that i'm in a better position and that I can make the world feel something because that's all I've ever wanted is to like to add something with with my existence and all of the fucking misery that's in me to like make some good out of that whether it is like talking about depression slash something negative like it's still like making people feel that possibly feel numb or fucking overwhelmed from the world we live in and shit it's like an escape like whether it's like a dark or a bright one I guess. You got on the fucking billboard charts recently, man. <laughs> yeah, like, that's dope. Like, that is, like, like I said, outside looking in, like, the past five years, like, yeah. that's fucking beautiful to watch. Yeah, yeah. How did that feel? Fucking insane. Because, like I said, I've always been a dreamer, and I've been called crazy my whole life because of the way I've been or the way I thought, because I've just always been fucking, like, lying at heart and just, like, a very intense person. I'm just like, no, this is... I've always been someone who believes in something that isn't there. And that's shit that I was like, I'm going to do. And I want that shit. And it's possible when I wasn't even fucking doing anything. And that shit happened. And it just makes me excited. (laughs) It's fucking fire. Like, I have a fucking rock song on Billboard. Like, that's fire as fuck. Like, up with bands I grew up listening to on the radio. Like, that shit is fucking crazy. Yeah. That's beautiful. I meant to ask this earlier. I accidentally skipped over it. Uh, Who are some artists or some bands that you listened to growing up that inspired you? Man. I feel like I've been trying to find, for the longest time, a balance between what is inspiration and what is... What is it called? I feel like just straight, like, taking from shit, because I feel like... I'll just hear shit, I'm just like, I feel like this isn't coming from the heart. And I feel like that because I'll hear my music, I'm like, I know my shit is coming from the heart. And it's kind of like a real recognized, real thing, as fucking pretentious as that sounds. And I feel like a lot of the shit that I was inspired by, I can't tell if I was inspired because I hear these sounds and I was like, yo, I've been fucking with that sound and shit. And I'm just like, I relate, like, I... I hear you like we're one and that's how I've came at it but like fucking I mean I think like Passion Pit to fucking how he just he had this song called Sleepyhead and it had so much fucking texture and color and he was being so loud and it was like full of poetry and shit and it was like the sound of his heart to fucking like Phoenix to like what the fuck I I like fucked with Ludacris dumb hard um 
Common. Yeah, just like shit like that to like Fall Out Boy. I like really, really, really fucked with Fall Out Boy and Blink-182 really hard. Um, just on some universal shit. Like, they have the same bounce in it as like trap shit does. Yeah. Everyone's saying something. You just gotta like listen. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, that was good. <laughs> My closing question. <laughs> yeah. So when I interviewed you almost five years ago, my last question is always, where do you see yourself in five years? Do you remember your answer five years ago? In a rainforest in a log <laughs> cabin. <laughs> Wealthy and alone, living in some rainforest in Oregon, in a wood cabin bowl. <laughs> was your answer. <laughs> Yo! Um, which is hilarious. <laughs> so now, almost five years after that interview, where do you see yourself in five years? Dude, hopefully same place, just hopefully alive and with more love around me. Like, for real. And a bigger crib than what I was imagining. More trees, more more beautiful shit that you can take fire photos of that's alive. <laughs>